With me now here at the desk is Juan Zarate, our national security analyst. Juan, put this in some context. If these reports are true, and the video looks fairly compelling, the pictures are fairly convincing, but if this is true, what does it mean? Well, this is a powerful moment, not just for Libya, but also the region. Uh, recall who Gaddafi was. He was a strong man who ruled uh, for 42 years with an iron fist in Libya. He was a symbol of power, not just in Libya, but in Africa, in North Africa, in the Arab world. And so his toppling, his death, uh, is actually a symbol of the, the loss of power, the power of the people and the revolution here to actually bring down one of the world's uh, leading and longstanding uh, autocrats. And I think that in and of itself is a powerful symbol. For the Libyans themselves and now the Transitional National Council, this is an important turning point because in theory, this should move the Libyans beyond the state of fighting, where they had to take Sirte, they had to take Bani Walid, they had to find, kill or capture Gaddafi. Now they have to move toward governing. What comes next in the post-Gaddafi world? And so this is an important turning point because it consolidates their ability now to try to govern. And that is the, a tricky question, as we know, and as we've talked about often uh, on our uh, Flashpoints uh, program. We've seen some celebrations already in Tripoli and, and other places in Libya this morning. But what do the people there need to see to be convinced? Are these pictures enough? What does the transitional government say to convince uh, the doubters or the skeptics that Gaddafi is gone? Well, I think the images we're starting to see are probably enough for the Libyan people and the fact that the, we're seeing and hearing word from uh, elements of the Transitional National Council that Gaddafi is, is likely dead. Uh, that, I think, is enough for those who've been hoping and fighting for this very moment. I, you've seen those celebrations already in Tripoli. So I think that's, that's key. I think the, the bigger question is, is the U.S. convinced and is the broader world convinced? And I think that's why you've seen the U.S. and the administration being very cautious about confirming this. They want to see or touch or confirm on their own. They don't want to rely on other reports because we know from reports in Libya and uh, reports throughout uh, conflict zones around the world, uh, first reports sometimes are a little muddled and images often can be fake. We, we know that in the case of bin Laden, for example. And, and let me just ask you to put on your White House hat for a minute. During your time in the Bush administration, inside the White House, you would have some idea what they're talking about now. What, what is the internal discussion like in terms of verifying, corroborating this, and deciding what to say about it? Well, I think the, the first question is, how are we trying to corroborate this? Uh, do we have lines in uh, on the ground in Libya? Are we trying to take DNA samples? Are we trying to get uh, American officials, probably from the embassy, to, to actually see the body, inspect it, or to get some sort of report that allows us to, with great confidence, be able to put the president out there to say, yes, Gaddafi is dead, this chapter uh, for Libya and the rest of the world is over. So how do you actually confirm that? So there's going to be a lot of discussion about that. Then there's going to be discussion about, okay, how can we use this moment as an important moment for Libya and the region? How do, we, how do you actually use this as momentum to help the Transitional National Council consolidate power, move toward elections, create a peaceful uh, transition in Libya? Because there will be concerns about ongoing fighting and pockets of insurgency from Gaddafi's loyalists and even perhaps even infighting within the, the uh, rebellion uh, and the factions that, that have helped topple Gaddafi. All right, well, we're right in the middle of the story, so this will develop through the day. Juan, thanks for your guidance and thanks, counsel. Bob. Uh, and again, just repeating, uh, big news today from Libya. According to rebel sources there in the transitional uh, council, a strong man, Muammar Gaddafi, has been killed uh, in a battle with uh, rebels in CERT. These are some pictures which we have taken from uh, Al Jazeera, which purport to show uh, the body of a man there uh, who the rebels and the uh, transitional council folks say is that of Muammar Gaddafi. U.S. officials being somewhat circumspect and as of right now have not officially confirmed that, but they're working uh, obviously through the day for more information, as are we. So we will have more along the way here on CBSNews.com. Thanks for joining us. For Bill Plant and Juan Zarate, I'm Bob Orr.